Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are fit and fine. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard and this is HP Lightbook 840G6 laptop motherboard. And this motherboard is completely dead. So now I will try to fix this board. So let's try to fix it. Okay, as you can see, this is a motherboard part number. So at first I will check evidence in main power rate which is uh, 19 volt so I can check here in this current sensor register so this line is clear okay main power rail is clear so now I will uh, plug it in and I will check the condition of this motherboard so let's plug it in as you can see look at my <coughs> power supply it's not taking any amps and as you can see here also there is no LED is blinking white and orange LED is not blinking here so now I will check some power rail like uh, 3 volt 5 volt always voltage so I set my multimeter in diode mode and I will put this red probe to ground and other I will check first this is a 5 volt power rail as you can see it's clear there is no short this is a 3 volt always power rail this also clear and this is a 12 volt power rail this also clear so our 3 volt 5 volt and 12 volt which is main power rail all lines clear there is no short circuit so now I will check some required voltage in this motherboard so I plugged in and I set my multimeter in DC mode and now we'll check this uh, main voltage which is 19 volt this voltage uh, came from here DC jack and uh, it came here in this current sense register as you can see we have 19 volt present here other side here also 19 volt present so uh, this uh, voltage is available here so uh, now I will check 12 volt on of this pad as you can see there is no 12 volt it's only 4.39 so our main power rail is not present it's only 4.37 so in this case I will check first this uh, charging IC so let's check under my microscope so as you can see this is an ISL or an intercell 9241H so what voltage should I check first first I will check V in voltage or DC in V in this, uh, for this IC which is uh, pin number 17 so let's check here uh, as you can see there is no 19 volt it should be 19 volt but uh, only 6.73 volt here so first I will uh, check this voltage came from where so let's flip this motherboard and I already know about this motherboard so this voltage came through this resistor so if I check here we have 19 volt as you can see and uh, if I check other side here we, we get only 6.73 and uh, if you look carefully a little hole here this register is blown look here so our uh, in uh, this charging IC can be bad or as you can see this voltage track here this capacitor so this capacitor also can be bad so first i will check ingredients in this register so i set my multimeter in diode mode again and let's check here and as you can see there is no short circuit so let's first replace this resistor is only 100 ohms register it 
place on this donor board. If our charging IC is good, so I hope after replace this 100 ohm resistor, this motherboard will be working condition. Let's plug in. something is wrong so uh, look at my power supply as soon as uh, I plugged in it's take 0 0.43421 amps that means something is short in this motherboard so let's find out Okay, there is no short circuit. This capacitor is also clear. Let's remove this charging IC. Okay, remove this IC. Now I will replace new one. Here you go, same number, 9 to 4 on each. So let's solder this IC. Okay, this is done. Clean the flux. As you can see, all the pins looks good. So let's uh, plug in again. And here you go, as you can see, we have white and orange LED and it's taking normal amps in off condition, which is good. There is a still glowing this orange LED and okay, if I check 12 volt, so as you can see we have 11.93 almost 12 it's okay perfect let's check this pin number 17 19.12 it's also present let's check this register 19 volt other side 19 volt so it's perfect so let's try to turn 
on this laptop motherboard and as you can see it's turning on that means this board is working condition now now I will check display as I always check forget to connect LVDS cable let's plug in again let's turn on and it's turning on and the HP logo so it's done we successfully fixed this motherboard now I just check the charging is ok or not let's connect this battery and let's check with this <laughs> oscilloscope Okay, look at my oscilloscope. Charging also okay. So everything is perfect now. So thanks everyone for watching this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button. If you already subscribed my channel, thank you so much. See you in the next video. Until then, stay well. Bye bye.